This is part two of the video. Reviewing South Gloucestershire Council's core strategy. With regards to Thornbury. And option six in particular. These are the six option areas with one, two and three along Morton Way in the east, four and five very close to the High Street in the west, and six over in the northwest. I have converted the council's marking system into values, with every positive symbol scoring plus one, every neutral symbol scoring zero, and every negative symbol scoring minus one. I will point out the council's bias in favour of option six as we go along. Objective 3 is about the economy. Can you guess by now which option gets the highest score? The main council emphasis here is on the Thornbury Industrial Estate. and with an inexplicable bias towards option 6. Will there really be option 6 residents cycling to work on the industrial estate? Here's another inconsistency between aims, with option 2 residents unable to walk to the high street and the industrial estate, but able to walk to Castle School. And the residents of option 6 will be speed walkers apparently, because with a brisk, significantly faster than average pace, it takes 12 minutes to get from the front of Castle School in Park Road to the pump at the start of the High Street. The Council is looking at this from Commerce's side and not from the viewpoint of local citizens. <coughs> Objective 4 is about access to transport and services. The appraisal here is largely based on limited knowledge of distances and bus routes. With AIM 4.1, no remodelling works will be needed in option 4 to encourage people to cycle or walk. The three options by Morton Way have bus routes nearby. It's inconsistent for the council under one objective to claim cars will cause parking problems in town. After previously asserting that residents along Morton Way would rather drive to the mall at Cripps Causeway.
it is not as easy to walk from option 6 to the high street as is being claimed. With AIM 4.2, the council suddenly remembers bus route 615. But it has still forgotten about the 309 310 and the 312. Now, some acknowledgement of the access problems for option 6 is being shown. It is highly unlikely that residents of option 6 would be able to walk so quickly to the high street. The importance of Castle School is being deliberately overstated. The ability of the council to have a say in future bus routes is being ignored. For AIM 4.3, the compiler of the appraisal report seems to be unaware not only of the actual routes that buses take through Thornbury, but also their frequency. Bus timetables are available on the Council's own website. But at least the 309-310 bus service has been remembered finally, because it was missed out from earlier commentaries. Scoring option 6 as equally high as option 4, and higher than option 5, both close to the town centre, shows how blatant is the bias in the appraisal report. After reviewing objectives 3 and 4, I calculate that option 6 has been overstated by a whopping 13 points. <laughs> 